Okay, next one, tire removal. Exactly as before. So you've already broken the bead, you've already got lubricant between the tire and the wheel. You're pushing the bead down as deep as you can into the well of the tire as you're starting beside the valve. Lever in, bring it over. Sometimes it helps to let it back slightly, get two levers in. And then you're away with it. Leave it in. Bang. One more will probably do it. And they're off to there. This is the bit where people struggle. Yeah, it's all very well lubed inside. The inside of the tyre is lubed as well as the outside. Get a couple of levers in place. I'm not using rim protectors because I find they're a pain in the house, but each to their own. Okay, get it over as far as you can, and then if, you, if you're lucky, and it's well looped, it'll just pop off like that. That's it. Tire, tire removal without the bloodshed. Okay folks, we're talking about determining the backlash in your transmission to see whether your drive shaft is worn. First of all we've got the bike in gear and what we're trying to determine is how much movement there is from fully forward to fully backward. So, bike in first gear, solid item alongside the wheel, put a little mark on there when, when the wheel is fully rotated one way, rotate the wheel fully the other way another mark, measure the distance between those two marks and we're looking for 50 mil. Anything 50 mil or under is fine. If it fails that 50 mil will jump to 100 mil almost immediately as the uh, needles drop out of the universal joints.